I was a registered Democrat, I voted Clinton, and I voted right, and then I went in the middle, and I'm independent, libertarian. I voted and for I Jimmy am, Carter. I am, you voted for Jimmy Carter, yes. yes. then so I stopped being a Democrat. That's why I'm in America. I mean, if there was no Jimmy Carter, I'd still be in Iran. I wouldn't be in America if there wasn't for Jimmy Carter. I'd probably still be in Iran living there doing something else with the Shah. Yeah, but, but you would be doing well. It would be a much freer country. To be in Iran than... Uh, uh, the Iran under the Shah of course it was would be infinitely morally superior. No Forget doubt. economically and socially yeah, and politically. No doubt about it. No, no doubt about it. He, him, my, his son and I had a conversation about it in D.C. the day I was with Ted Cruz. So, okay, fair enough. So let's, let's finalize this topic here. This is my processing. And I'm really, like, I really want to know your answer. Like, honestly, I, I sincerely want to know your answer on this. And I'm not trying to get one answer or another side. How, you having met so many different people on both sides, Chris Matthews is not stupid, okay? Rachel Maddow is not dumb. Elizabeth Warren is not dumb. Now, they may be a little bit sensational. There are very few dumb people. That's the point. That dumb doesn't mean anything. Educated doesn't mean smart doesn't mean. The number of but smart people who supported communism fair enough, is, going, is in the millions. But fair enough, they go to the left, and if you talk about values and principles and all of that, there's a lot on the left. There's no wisdom on the left. There are a you lot can't of. can't say that. I can say that. You seriously think there's no I, wisdom I on the I know it. I don't say it. I How know it. I lived it. I went to Columbia. My my professors were brilliant and had almost no wisdom. They taught me that men and women are basically the same. You can be brilliant and believe that, but you can't be wise and believe that. The difference between men and women is huge. So you're saying the left is smart, the right is wise. Yes. You're really saying that. Yes, that's exact. No, not the people, the ideas. That's correct. Wisdom is, there are, lib, there are wise liberals too, but there is no wisdom on the left. The left is a nihilistic, destructive okay. force in every society Fair it enough. has touched. Let, it all, has ruined our universities. It has ruined our arts. It has ruined our high schools. Everything, it's ruining football. I'm not Whatever debating that part. the left touches, it ruins. Okay, so let's do this, just, just so, just so we, we, are, we are clear. Why don't you define left and liberal? Let's, Fine. let's do I'll that. Because you, you said there's a difference. After example. Please. Fine. What is the simplify? Have, simplify right. in a way where a sixth uh, grader can uh, understand. No, no, it. I do, by the way. I Please. believe I, I can I, I believe it's our obligation to make things as simple, not simplistic, as possible. Example. Liberalism believes in, in that race is meaningless, that character is everything, and skin color is nothing. The left believes that character is much less significant than skin color. The left, the left believes in segregation racially. Liberals believe in, in integration racially. A liberal is opposed to a black dorm. A liberal is opposed to a black graduation at Harvard. A leftist is for it. They have nothing in common. The only thing that the left and the and the and liberals have in common, they have two things, belief in big government and hatred of the right. That is the only thing that leftism and liberalism have in common. Okay, so uh, 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 tell me who's a liberal and who's a left. Somebody, somebody that people know, name. Who Fine, I gave you Alan Dershowitz. He's a classic liberal, okay? Professor at Harvard Law School. Who voted for Obama. Who voted, voted, for, voted Obama for Clinton. And voted for Clinton. Fair enough. That is correct. Who else would be a liberal? Okay, this, there are many... My whole family, which people don't know, obviously, publicly, there are very few public liberals today. This is a tragedy. Publicly, the Democratic Party, which was once liberal, is now left. Daniel Patrick Moynihan, these are names that will not be known to most of your viewers. Senator from New York, major intellectual, Democrat. He was the man who alerted the country to the crisis of the absence of the black father. And what was he called by the left? A racist. But you could say it as a Democrat and still be elected senator from New York. Not today. A Democrat who said that the biggest problem in black life is not racism, it is absence of fathers, will, can, could not be elected dog catcher in New York. And who would you say as a left? You'd the say Maddow, no, everybody no, no, else, Cooper, them, they're that's, all left. Yes, yes. So would right. you, would you put, let me ask you, would you put progressive philosophies in the left, or could progressive be left and liberal? Progressive is a larger term for both liberals and leftists, so okay. I'm not using so, it. Okay, fair enough. Well, then that, that kind of redefines when I use the word left on where your frustration comes with that, because left may be Ask based on... Ask a liberal, do you think it's a good thing, moral thing, a liberal thing, to have a black dorm? Ask them that. If they say yes, then, then, I, then I say, then you are a leftist. 
because liberalism was opposed to racially based dormitories.